Hey friends, this is Coach Tanisha Marie. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, like, share. Hit the notification bell for updates on more upcoming videos. The industrial economy, 1700 to 1900, the rise of the Rothschilds. In the three and a half. So I'm listening to an audible book, which I think I'm gonna get the, the the regular, the physical book too. But name of it is called the end. Let me read it to y'all. The end of jobs. And he was going into the industrial age. But we are in the digital information age now where this world is based on entrepreneurship. Um, you know, even Les Brown, he was on a yacht and he was talking about, you know, Louis Farrakhan always talked about doing for self. But in the 1920s, in the 1930s, in the 1940s, you know, when the government came up with jobs and people could work in jobs and, you know, you take care of the company for 40 years and then the company takes care of you for the rest of your life. See, that worked up until the computer came. That worked up until the information age. That worked up until the digital age. Now it's do for self. You got to do for self. You got to do for self. You got to do for self, guys. You know, and I've been preaching this, I've been saying this, I've been teaching it forever, right? So those that listen, they doing something about it. Those who ain't listening, ain't doing something about it. So I even know cops, I know correction officers, I know nurses, I know lawyers that literally are leaving their jobs to do their own thing because they sick of work. You know what I'm saying? And then they overwork because there's too many people leaving, getting sick you know, get going on leave just to get money, you know, all this stuff, right? So companies are on hiring freezes, companies laying people off, companies demoting people, you know, uh, giving them less pay. It's so much going on, right? It's just so much going on. It's just so much, you know, that is going on, you know, in the world. So it's called the information age, the digital age. You can become an Uber Eats driver. You don't even need a car. You can have a bike. You can have a skateboard. My, my daughter order Uber Eats like fucking crazy. These kids these days order Uber Eats like mad, right? So my daughter ordered Uber Eats the other day and a boy came on a skateboard. I said, look at this. I said, look at it. I wasn't even mad at him. I said, look at this. You can make money on a fucking skateboard. In the 1940s, Uber Eats wasn't even heard of, even thought of, right? So we're literally moving to the gig economy. Look at Toro. Toro, you can rent your car out and literally make your car note payments from renting it out every month. Your house, you can rent your house out and literally make your mortgage payment from renting out your house. You can get on the internet and make a thousand dollars a month selling stuff on Facebook. You can get on the internet and make a thousand dollars a month selling on Amazon. When I tell people to do for self, I've been doing this for 10 years. Unfortunately, people are still not catching up, right? And we're in the information age. And in the information age, there's more information out there there's more people in the world, but there's more people impoverished and broke. It's sad. In the 1920s, we had less information at our fingertips, less people in the world, right? But we had more people trying to strive to get to the next level, right? I just think a lot of people have given up on life. I think a lot of people have given up on their goals and their dreams. I think a lot of people have tried different things and failed at it and said, you know what, I don't want to, you know, do this anymore. Or, you know, they didn't have the support. Because even for me, I didn't have the support when I first started my first network marketing company. I didn't have no support. I had no support. Like, there was no support whatsoever. 
um no support you know what i'm saying so i could have quit i could have said oh no this is but i kept going right so you know in this day and age guys it's the entrepreneur age people even going to college is not even worth it anymore because college degrees is in abundance fucking mcdonald's wants you to have a college degree walmart wants you to have a college degree so College degrees are in abundance. It's not scarce like it was in the 1940s where, oh, you go to college? Oh, wow. Right? Now you go to college? Oh, please. Somebody tell me you go to college. I'm like, all right. Well, okay. Well, hopefully <laughs> you ain't got no high ass, uh, uh, you know, student loan. Right? Because I got rid of my student loan, I want to say about six years ago. Literally. <laughs> I saved up my commissions, money that I was making from my affiliate programs, and I wrote them bitches a check. I said, fuck that, y'all not gonna haunt me for the rest of my goddamn life. And in this book, The End of Jobs, he talks about how doctors and lawyers are literally paying student loans until the day they die. They're 80 years old, still paying student loans. I have my grandmother, unfortunately, she only paid $20 a month on her student loan. She owes over $100,000 in student loans. And you only took out 20,000 40 years ago. 45 years ago you only took out 20 grand now you over 100 right but there's millions of people and this is why they're trying to cancel student loan debt they're trying to find all these ways to get rid of student loans it's so much shit right but all i'm gonna tell people is do for self try new things right i always tell my daughter you know who's about to be 21 try everything for me i'll try anything one time Right? And if I don't like it, I'll keep it moving. If I like it, you know, I may tell other people's other people about my experience, right? Try anything once. Try network marketing, right? Try it for a year. If you don't like it, you at least you can say, Oh, I tried network marketing, right? But you gotta really learn it and really do it. Try drop shipping for six months. If you don't like it, you feel like, oh, I'm not making any money, it's not worth my time, then go on to the next thing. Learn how to build a brand. If you don't like building a brand, then go on to something else right go on to something else right if you don't you know start your airbnb business start your toro business if you don't like these shits then stop it but you got to try something try new food go to a new country go to a new country right try babysitting try foster care right get a new skill set start you know learning how to do taxes for people start being a tax preparer that's what i did I said, you know what i want to get a new skill so i went and got uh, uh my tax preparer certificate right you want to be a financial advisor go get your financial advisor certificate you want to be a plumber you want to be a, a, a electrician like try everything so now when you 60 or in your 50s, you're not living with a bunch of regret. You have more experiences than regret. Now you saying to yourself, oh, I'm good. I tried that, I tried this. See, I tried network marketing. At first I didn't like it. I said, I can't recruit people. What the fuck I look like recruiting a whole bunch of people that I don't know. Now, I done made multiple six figures in my network marketing companies from perfect strangers on the internet for me doing YouTube videos and me doing webinars, free webinars and selling classes online. Now, I'm focused on helping people build their credit, reuse their credit, recycle their credit, rebuild their credit, and access money and funds and funding. And then if you want passive income, I can show you how to trade Bitcoin or you can get into Amazon automation and get some passive residual income. Unfortunately, too many people are in the poverty mindset. Unfortunately, people rather rob and steal than actually learn a skill. People rather rob and steal than learn a new skill. So that's the age that we truly are in. Actually, that's the age that we truly are in right now. People rather steal and learn a new skill, right? Because skill set take time. It take money, right? And if you got your mortgage to pay, or if you got your baby, need baby formula, or baby diapers, or you need gas, you don't have time to learn a new skill, right? So this is why I tell people, when times are good, plan for times when it's bad, right? Because we're in bad times right now, man. Everybody's feeling it. So don't let people tell you, trust me, <laughs> I spoke to Ona Brown, 
if you guys know Ona Brown, Les Brown's daughter, like me and her, she wants to collaborate with me. It's crazy. I don't know the girl from a can of paint, but she's been watching me for two years. What the fuck? She called me on Instagram the other day. She said, Tanisha, I've been watching you for two years, girl, and I love what you're doing. I said, oh, you do? Shit, all I'm doing is doing videos <laughs> and doing webinars <laughs> and selling courses and classes. She said, I want to do exactly what you're doing. She said, I can no longer go into the rooms no more because people... First of all, a lot of people are not going into, uh, you know, the, the hotel meetings and all that stuff, right? You don't hear about a whole lot of hotel meetings anymore, right? Because everything's on Zoom now, right? And then now, people ain't paying 50000 for a mastermind. People are not paying 10000 for a mastermind. And if they are, they're trying to call a bank right now to try to get that fucking money back, right? So the skill set of online marketing, the skill set of storytelling, the skill set right of training people right is in entrepreneurship is in she was like tanisha how can me and you collaborate on something crazy on the brown les brown world-renowned speaker i didn't know she was watching me how the hell do i know she's watching me for two years right all i know is i keep showing up all i know is i'm gonna keep making money all i know is i'm gonna keep helping people my people need to be free Right? Yeah, I make money, but I want to really help more people win, man. That's why I give away free ebooks, read my ebook, I do free classes. Um, you know, I send I send out stuff, I give away like I do events, you know, in my area, right? I do events offline, financial education. I go to churches and do shit for free. I go to the schools and teach financial education for free. Like one of my friends, she's a um she's one of the top managers um in um I think Health First. And she was saying they have some money where they want to teach their staff. And she said, I think you would be perfect to come in and start teaching our staff about credit, about finance, and about entrepreneurship. Ain't that crazy? God. That's only God. Because I just keep showing up, right? I just keep showing up. So guess what? The world is my oyster. The world is my oyster. Right? God already told me. Tanisha, get you together. And I'm going to send you women and men that need to get together too. But they got to be willing to work. They got to be willing to move. They got to be willing to listen to you. I don't care if you're 38. I don't care if you're 48. I don't care if you're 68. My oldest client that I ever had was 65 years old, 67 years old. My youngest client that I ever had was 16. Right? Her mom called me for her. My mom said, Tanisha, I need you to help my daughter. She's 16. What the fuck? Right? So, I mean, at the end of the day, guys, I'm not just a YouTuber. I'm not just, oh, Tanisha does, you know, videos in her bins every day. Guess what? My videos make me money. My videos get me leads. My videos make me money. So, YouTube pays me just for creating content. YouTube actually recommends my videos to people. Right? Because my channel has authority on the internet. So I'm never going to be broke another day in my life. I'm just got to keep creating and keep collaborating, right? And now I got my boy Jake hitting me up saying he want to put my Amazon course inside of his training platform. More money, more influence, <laughs> more people. Like, <laughs> like, at the end of the day, guys, everything that I'm getting, I prayed for. Everything I'm getting, I worked for. Everything I'm getting, I'm seeing it already. Like, I'm going to get another house. People worried about the interest rate. So what? Interest rates are going to keep going up. But you're going to keep being scared to buy a house? You're going to be priced out the damn market if you keep being scared. Oh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Wait for what? For the interest rate to go up? Because <laughs> that's what's going to happen. So the end of jobs, guys, meaning the traditional knowledge that we have of going to school, going to college, sitting, listening to a professor, taking tests, trying to graduate with honors. See, graduate with honors don't even mean shit no more. Graduating as the Valley Victoria and all this other shit don't even mean shit anymore. <laughs> it don't. It don't mean a damn thing anymore. Right. What matters is you're able to provide for your family without begging the government, 
You're able to take care of your family without begging the government. And you got money invested or money set aside somewhere so that if you need money or if you have an emergency, you can go grab your money. We live in an economy, guys, where it's entrepreneur driven. Don't you see everything is through the roof, gas is through the roof. You can't get baby formula. Rent for a one bedroom is $2,000 in New York. A one bedroom is $5,000. Eric Adams just showed the whole projects, the whole NYCHA to the banks. So now the banks is coming with their customers. Like, what's the girl name? Illegally um, Hype, she's a lawyer. She said now section eight is now section nine because they literally getting rid of people left and fucking right. They're literally getting pe getting rid of people, guys, left and fucking right. Right. They're literally people are losing their houses, even in the projects. People are people are losing their project apartments that they had for 40 years, only paying one hundred dollars for it. And then I pass that down for every generation. And the government said, you know what? Fuck that. The mayors. Fuck that. Even in New York. Huh? New York, he's saying, fuck that. I want to make some money. Everybody paying $100, they on Section 8, ain't doing shit. Now, and I'm not saying everybody, right? But most people that's on Section 8, they hand it down to their kids. They think that's a form of reparations. And it's really a form of bondage. All right, so we got to get into this, man. Download my free ebook, read it. Download my woman's um my, my guide to a woman's guide to success download my drop shipping ebook get into you know how i made 100 grand online that's 20 bucks you get my amazon class i'm running a summer special which is you know 250 right i got a whole branding class which is 250 like i lowered literally all of my so people could get their game on track so nobody can't say oh i don't have 500 oh i have a thousand all right well you better have 250 or you better have 20 dollars so again, at the end of the day, guys, being broke is for the birds. Being broke is for the impoverished. Being broke is for people who don't have resources. With the internet, guys, this freaking phone is literally can make you a millionaire. This freaking phone can make you a millionaire. Centuries following Henry's rule, the world was transformed. The West went from an See you guys in class. To an